Coronation Street has been named the deadliest soap street in the country after suffering another two murders. Viewers Ed in horror as captive Andy Carver was forced to murder Vinnie Ashford in cold blood by Pat Phelan in exchange for his freedom, but instead of then letting him go the evil builder went on to shoot Andy in grisly scenes. There have been a lot of murders on or around the cobbles over the years the scenes sparked hundreds of complaints to regulator Ofcom and they also made Corrie the most dangerous fictional street in the land. A total of 22 people connected to the cobbles have now been murdered on or by someone from Weatherfield's most famous street. Lynn Johnson became the first on-screen murder victim in 1975 when her husband Roy beat her to death inside No. 9 Coronation Street and since then the killings have kept coming. There's been all of Richard Hillman's victims, the original Cobbles serial killer and Norman Bates with a briefcase himself, and who can forgot the moment Tracy Barlow exactly the ultimate revenge on evil Charlie Stubbs with a brutal gold ornament. Richard Hillman couldn't pass a garden implement without resorting to murder Ernest Bishop was shot in 1978 in shocking scenes while the Count doesn't put Weatherfield in the same league as fictional County Midsummer and its overachieving murderers, the Cobbles itself is an incredibly dangerous place. Corey Boskate Oates defended the murder scenes when asked by The Sun Online about the backlash from some viewers. Speaking exclusively to The Sun Online, Kate revealed it's difficult because sometimes you want to please everyone, but naturally sometimes as a producer you just want everyone, everyone to go we love it, it's amazing and no one to say a bad word about it. Richard Hillman violently kills Maxine on Coronation Street Brian was murdered by thugs in the 80s but the truth is that sometimes things are decisive, people are talking about it and people are engaging for all kinds of reasons. I think it's done a lot were getting some younger viewers who are in the show because it's a different kind of drama, a different kind of look. Tina was pushed off a roof, battered with a pipe and eventually d in hospital. Tina McIntyre survived a fall from the balcony, but Rob Donovan finished her off. She added there is still plenty of traditional Corey. To be fair we haven't changed the dynamic of the show. They were two particularly dark episodes but there's loads of other stuff on other but I think I would never ever just make it the Pat Phelan show, although Connor is good enough to carry that but yeah, I think when his downfall comes it will be really delicious. 25,091,968 Steve Tanner pushed downstairs by Joe Donnelly 20,011,975 Lynn Johnson beaten to death by husband Roy Johnson 11,011,978 11 Ernest Bishop shot by Ed Jackson 15,021,989 Brian Tilsley stabbed by Darren Waitley 02061995 Samir Rashid beaten with a lead pipe by Utes 0602199 9, Tony Horrocks bludgeoned to death with a baseball bat by Jez Quigley 15,092,000 Jez Quigley beaten to death by Jim McDonald 20,052,002 Patricia Hillman smacked with a spade by ex-husband Richard Hillman 13,052,003 Maxine Peacock bludgeoned with a crowbar with Richard Hillman 04032005 Tommy Harris hit with a wrench by daughter Katie 15,012,007 Charlie Stubbs smacked over the head with an ornament by Tracy Barlow 17,102,008 Liam Connor murdered by Jimmy Dockeron in a hit-and-run masterminded by Tony Gordon 07062010 Robbie Sloan shot by Tony Gordon 10,122,010 Charlotte Hoyle hit over the head by John Stape and then had life support turned off 10,012,011 Joy Fishwick smothered by John Stape 05032012 Frank Foster murdered by his mum Anne in Underworld 03042013 Sunita Allahan murdered by Carl Munro in hospital 02062014 and McIntyre murdered by Rob Donovan in vicious assault 23,092,015 Callum Logan smacked over the head by Kylie Platt 15 million 72,016 Kylie Platt stabbed by Clayton Hibbs 27,102,017 Vinnie Ashford shot by Andy Carver under orders from Pat Phelan 27,102,017 Andy Carver shot by Pat Phelan who next Pat Phelan persuades Andy Carver to kill Vinnie Ashford in a warehouse on Coronation Street Holly Willoughby grills Strictly's Gawker about waking up with Gemma Atkinson Louise Redknapp determined to get Jamie back as she regrets moving out 
out Emmerdale viewers spot massive blunder as Rebecca White flashes fake bump Strictly's Debbie McGee and Giovanni Perna share a kiss before practice Corey's Carla Connor and Peter Barlow reunite as the actors head to lunch in a celebrity 2017 lineup rumors are in swing here's the info got a story email digishowbiz at thesun.co.uk a call us direct on 0207782422 we pay for videos too. Click here to upload yours.